All right, in this video, we're going to go through the vocabulary for Hebrews chapter 10, verses 11 through 18. In this, this is scripture. This is not poetry. This is, in fact, Hebrews is a, uh, it's basically a written down sermon. Okay, you can imagine the Hebrew writer has written out his lesson. And it is a very, very long sermon. Uh, most of us in this day and age wouldn't be able to listen to the whole thing sitting down. Hopefully, he, he took more than one occasion to, to get through the whole thing. But anyway, that aside, it's not a song. It's not lyrics. There is still emphasis in it. There is still expression. There is just not that melodic flow, though there is some. It's not completely void of it. It's a different beast, though. It's a different kind of thing. The, the songs, it's easy to, easier to remember the words than it is uh, prose of this nature. So in training yourself to do this, it's going to be very important that you learn the sentences and the phrases because your mind needs to hear that click point where it says the priest and then your mind knows how the thing finishes but does not memorize it this is really also important when you're interpreting you're not going to know what the person's going to be in reading when they stand up here and the truth of the matter is, even if you did, memorizing it is not going to be what you want to do. You want to flow with the person that's reading it. So I want you to listen to the audio. When you get ready to start doing this, listen to the audio and train your mind to pick up on keywords. And then click through it on those keywords, not on memorizing because what will happen and I've seen it happen so many times is that you memorize and you go oh, I'm gonna get this I got I got it down and just somebody will distract or something little will happen or it won't go exactly what you thought it was going to and, and you'll, you'll forget where you're at and all of a sudden your interpreting just falls apart so interpret this by listening to what is being said okay Secondly, uh, it is really important here not to do words. It is really important here to do sentences and phrases. Okay? So with that, with that said, and if you're doing this, you probably already know all that anyway. But i, I got to say it anyway. Just me. Hebrews. No sign for it. Finger spell it. Okay? So Hebrews chapter. This is a C coming down. As chapters take up long space chapter 10 verse 11 through 18 18 okay that is 10 at the letter a kind of shaking 11 knuckles out 1 1 and 18 10 8 Got it? The priests do their work each day. Priests. All right, two kinds of priests in this world. Priests, which are Catholic priests, Christian priests, and priests, which are Jewish priests. Which priests do you think they're talking about here? I hope you didn't have to think a long time on that one. Priests. Okay, the priest, and we're going to do a lot of dropping little words in this. Okay, the priest do their work, do their work every day, each day. All right, they do, there's two kind of C hands moving back and forth. Their open palm just plunk a bunch of priests right here, point at them. Okay, their work in the kind of the, the, the wrist section here on the back of the wrist there, work each day 
every day. This is the sign for tomorrow. This is tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. That's every day. Uh, or just shortened to the, the thumb kind of running along the jawline a couple of times every day. And they keep on offering sacrifices. And they, where did we plunk them? We plunked our free priest here. Let's continue to point to them. They, all right, can keep on offering. Keep on. This is continuing. Okay. Keep on. They continue and they do it over and over and over again. They keep right on doing it, continuing. Offering sacrifices. Okay. This is all one sign. Offering sacrifices is really one sign. It is offering sacrifices. Two steps kind of thing. To give upward sacrifice. Sacrifice. They offer sacrifices that can never take away sins. They offer sacrifices that can we're going to leave those out. Or can never take away sins. Okay? They offer sacrifices that can never, that the hand kind of snaking through the air, take away, this is take, wash, and chuck. All right? Take away sins. Two X hands at the at the jawline basically coming out. But Christ offered himself as a sacrifice. But okay, but and you can step into that, but it's two fingers that are crossed and coming up like uh, trains whatever they're called, train blockades. All right? Christ offered himself as a sacrifice. Christ. It's the letter C coming at the shoulder opposite the elbow down to the hip. Offered himself. Offered. Offered and sacrifice is the same thing. Offered himself as a sacrifice. Yes, it's the same sign. But that's just the way it is. Himself. So this is you, this is me, this is yours, this is mine, this is yourself, this is myself, this is himself, okay? All those pronouns. And he offered himself as, fingers here, come back, and they're the same here as they were over there. A sacrifice. That is good forever. A sacrifice, and really that, that really is a, let's see how many times we can avoid using the word that, okay? That, a sacrifice, good forever, okay? It is a sacrifice, good, continuing, forever. Okay? Now, he is sitting at God's right hand. Now, he is sitting. Now, two Y hands kind of dropping. Now, he's sitting at God's right side. God. Kind of come out, up, and down. God, his so this is God apostrophe S, which means God, it belongs to God, right? This is an apostrophe S. God, his, that is, God possesses, God is his, right? Right, you, you do know you're right from your left, right? If you're right-handed, it's an R going this way. If it's L going that way, it's left-handed, right? side and you just kind of point down your side and he will stay there until his enemies are put under his power 
and he will stay, okay, two white hands, Y hands, stay there until, okay, until is, don't quite touch. This is two when you touch. If you get there, you won't get there until, okay, uh, his enemies are under or put under his foul power until his enemies. This is to oppose or opposite. This says a person that is the previous sign. An opposite person or an opposing person is an enemy. Okay? His enemies are put under his power. His enemies are under his power. Okay? And I'm not even going to put them there. They're just going to be there. By this one sacrifice, his... I thought I saw something. Sorry. By his one sacrifice, he has forever set free. By his one sacrifice. Okay? His one sacrifice. He has forever set free. He forever made free. He forever made free. And I put a comma there when really there shouldn't have been. He forever made free from sins. Okay? He forever made free from sin. The people he brings to God. People, P's going up and down. He brings, it's to carry like a tray. And who are you carrying it to? To, to God. The Holy Spirit, holy, and this is a butter knife. You have to put some butter on it. Put some butter there, or yeah, put some butter there, and then spread it out. That's holy. Spirit, two F hands with fingers spread, kind of coming up out. Also speaks about or of this. Telling us, okay, what did they really say? The Holy Spirit also speaks of this by telling us that the Lord said, and that's kind of awkward even to say in English. In signs, if you were to say that in signs, it would even be more awkward. So the Holy Spirit also speaks about this, telling us what the Lord said. Okay, I don't know whether that came out well on the video or not. But this is the sign for telling. This is the sign for Lord. This is the sign for said. When the time comes, when, it's like a lollipop, when the time comes, happens, two H hands with the fingers up, Rolling them inside to the fingers down. Happen. When the time comes, I will... Notice what I did there. I. It's not really me. See this one over here? He's pointing up. That's talk, saying I'm talking for God. I will make an agreement or a covenant. Either way is fine. But think alike is an agreement. I will make an agreement with them. And this isn't just the priest. This is everybody. Right? I will write. A piece of paper. Pen. Write. My laws. 
on their heart, on their minds, and their hearts. Okay, minds, hearts, center fingers, circle, touch, circle, touch. Okay, hearts. Then I will forget. Take it from your brain, pick it up, eject it. Forget about their sins. And I, excuse me, and no longer or no more remember their evil deeds. Evil is the same sign as sin with an E. Okay? Deeds, actions. When sins forgiven, there's no more need to offer sacrifices. Okay? I think that will get you the vocabulary. I kind of went through that. I feel kind of fast. But I, if you have trouble, send me a note and I will I'll show you what you need to know. If I missed something or you something didn't make sense, uh, be sure to ask me a question, okay? All right, that ends this one. I'm about to do the actual video. There won't be a slow one on this one. I'm just going to do the video with the recording, okay? So that's where you'll go next. See you there in a minute.